All right, guys, so a real quick update here. As you can see, I have Castle Link on the computer trying to do some programming on this. This thing's all loose because I'm trying to straighten out the center brace and try to work on a few things. But I kind of figured out that I'm like 90% sure it lost range because everything seems to be working fine. The data logger shows there wasn't any like ridiculous spikes or just cut out or anything, lost power. No, so I'm pretty sure I lost range. And I mean, to be fair, I am running a Dumbo RC. These things are dirt cheap. They're like 20 some bucks. They're not that expensive. They work well though. Um, uh, this is my second time losing range and I just decided to program a fail safe on my channel three. So my channel three, light on, light off. That's, you know, on or off. So the way it sits right now, I'm gonna try to do this one-handed. If you, it free wheels, if you lose, if you lose your uh, connectivity, right? So, and then you turn it off and it, it just keeps going because there's nothing to stop it. But what I did do is now on channel three, when I engage it, it's on my auxiliary wire to this, it's programmed to a drag brake. Now, if I do a speed run with a drag brake, you're thinking, well, you, that's just not, no, that isn't gonna work. But in reality, it does work. So, the reason I want this is because I'm, I'm going to try to do this the other hand because I'm trying to do this one handed to show you. So I have my fingers on the on off switch. My channel three is on. And this is extremely hard. So I'll just show you the car. I'm just going to turn it off. So just rolling, I turn it off. I lost range. I just, all I did was turn the controller off and the drag brake stayed engaged. Now, right now it's set to 100%. And that should, in an emergency, stop the car. Now I'm gonna probably turn it down to about an 80%, whichever doesn't completely lock it up because I really don't wanna just, uh, you know, destroy the car by sliding into a curb or something. But that's the best I can think of for essentially a fail safe or if it runs out of range, it slows down because Dumbo RC doesn't have anything integrated like that. And this seems to work, at least on the bench. I'm gonna try it out in the field once I get it, you know, the chassis straightened and this uh, this arm repaired. It's not broken, but I'm gonna replace it anyway just because it's got a pretty good scuff on it. And I gotta get another set of tires. I gotta fix this piece, this body piece. I need to either get a new splitter or straighten that one out. It's really nowhere near as bad as I thought it was. So I'm gonna get it fixed up. I'm gonna do a few tests before I do another speed run and see if that works. If it works, great. If it doesn't, back to the drawing board um that's the best i can do and i hope this helps somebody out out there that is trying to figure out how to program a fail safe or figure out a fail safe fail safe um now i know if you're trying to just do a fail safe on a dumbo rc with a rtr car you're probably not going to be able to because these don't have them built in i had to program it into the xlx2 so i can actually show you what i did so right now i'm in the castle link um for the XLX2. Now on my basic, I mean, you can see everything there. This is where I changed it on my drag brake to 100%. If I change it to 80%, that's still a good amount of brake. The drag brake ramp, I put disabled, which means it's instantaneous. There is no ramp up. That's, for me, that's what I want. And then when I go into my advanced, my arming time for my auxiliary wire here is one second. If it loses, uh, signal for one second or longer it that's what this auxiliary wire is for drag brake adjustment and then um, that's that's how I set up the uh, that's how I set up the uh, fail safe and then hit my update sends it in so I did change it from 80 to 100 per or from 800 to 80 percent hit OK unplug my castle link and now I'm gonna to check to see how 80% reacts. Now you gotta remember there's no load on this, so turn my controller on. With my channel three engaged. That's still a good amount of break. Now, let's see. I mean, it still acts like it's 100%, but it's only 80%, which at 120 plus mile an hour, with as fast as going as much as it weighs, 
that ought to be a really good amount of brake enough to slow it down from doing what it just did you guys can check that video out right here it hit a concrete wall doing almost 120 mile an hour so I don't want that to happen again so this is what I'm doing to fix it that's why the XLX2 is so nice you can program it and do whatever you want with it am I going to end up breaking something oh I'm sure but am I going to ruin the car absolutely not I don't care if I destroy a set of tires or if I break a control arm that doesn't bother me bending chassis breaking the XLX2 ejecting batteries I mean stuff like that bothers me case in point this is the infraction uh, I had no fail safes and it pulled really hard on me I never lost uh, reception and decided to hit a concrete curb doing about 115 now this looks a whole lot worse than what it actually is but I've been taking parts off of it to fix the infraction so uh, this is worst case scenario you hit a concrete wall and obliterate your car which cost a ton of money so to keep that from happening it's just as easy to program a failsafe on it and you don't really have that issue anymore at least that's my theory until next time guys i'll see you later